Hey everyone, it's Matt AK Tech Ranger, and today we're going to be taking a look at both Starfield and Skyrim concerning how to set up your account on Bethesda.net in order to easily find mods. You can also use Bethesda.net for Fallout 4, although the system is a little bit different, it functions about the same. With the next gen update for that game, it doesn't work as well as it used to, but we'll go over that. The comment I probably get the most on my mod videos are, hey, I can't find this mod, or hey, it's not popping up in game. I use the website a lot to easily find stuff, but then also to save it so I can actually find it in game easily. If you've been playing with mods already, odds are you probably already have an account, but if for some reason you can't log into it on the website, we'll look at how to link it. And if you just want to actually go on Bethesda.net and look at mods, newer mods, we'll look at that too in this video. So odds are, if you've been playing with mods on console, you probably have a Bethesda account already. However, you might not know the login information, so the thing to do would actually be to create a Bethesda account on the website. You can do this on your phone as well. Once you load up Bethesda.net, go ahead and click this hamburger button here in the top left, and you can go ahead and click on the game that you're going to want to look at mods for. You don't have to click on the game at first if you don't want to. You can go straight to this login screen and put in your credentials. Now, if you're not sure of your credentials, you can try one thing first. If you think you know the email that you use to actually start downloading mods in game, go ahead and put that in here. Or if you know your username, you can always reset your password. So let's say you're not sure if your account is linked or not. So log into your Bethesda account, and then you can go and click on linked accounts. This is going to show each service that has access to Bethesda.net. And then if your console is not not there, you can click on this plus option here and then you can actually add your account there. When you click on any of these, you're going to be taken to that platform site and you're going to have to log in. The Epic one actually is nice because it actually has some quick sign in options. Since I created my account via the mod menu on Xbox before I made a Bethesda account, it's already linked so I don't need to do anything here. But if you make the Bethesda account first, you will need to link it the same way as shown. If you're having issues with this, I'll put a couple links in the description to some Bethesda help articles, and then if you need to, you can always have support, try and look at your account and see what's going on if you're having issues with this step. So once you get all that taken care of, we can jump to the next part, and that's actually finding mods, searching for mods, seeing what's new, and actually adding them to your game. So I thought to show one of the ways this is the most useful is to actually look at one of my videos. For any mod I talk about here on the channel, I always put the links in the description to that mod, so when you click on it, it'll take you straight to the Bethesda website. For both Starfield and Skyrim, since they're using the creation system, you'll see a little bookmark icon here at the top. Now if you're not already logged in, then go ahead and log in but once you do you can actually click this bookmark and that mod will now show up in the bookmark section on that particular game. Fallout 4 is still on the older system but it is about the same. Instead of adding a mod as a bookmark you're adding it as a favorite. Since the next gen update for Fallout 4 it actually kind of broke the favorites and library system in games. It's a toss up if you're going to see all or if just some of what you favorited or added to your library. So the library. The library is essentially everything that you've downloaded and installed installed even if you've removed the mod it's still going to be in your library unless you go on the website and then remove that mod from your library so i'd always recommend bookmarking or favoriting mod that way it's something that you can just remove easily on the console mainly because the option exists in starfield and skyrim for example that you can actually download everything from your library which can get you in hot water pretty quick that option can be a way to download work in progress mods that you might see on the website. But when creations came to Skyrim, all your favorites and things that you downloaded and all that, that all got merged together. So your library is pretty massive. You can attempt to remove some of these from your library if you go on the website. You just can't do it in game. If you have downloaded a lot of mods in the past, like myself, that could get pretty time consuming. So favorites or bookmarks are the way to go. So to wrap everything up, a lot of the same search and categories and things like that are available on Bethesda.net, but because it's on a computer or maybe you're looking at it on your phone, it can be a lot easier to navigate. For Starfield, I like looking at all the new and recent mods. You can click the All tab here and then hit the New Sort By option, and then you can see all of the most recent mods. Now at the top there, you saw there's a PC and an Xbox symbol, obviously because PlayStation doesn't have Starfield, but you do have that option for Skyrim. Same goes for Fallout 4, just all that stuff is over on the left. On the website or on your phone, tablet, whatever, you can also see your library and your bookmarks. And then you can also search, which is very handy with a keyboard rather than a controller if you're playing on a console. If you search a bunch of things in one session, the search might actually get hung up. So in that case, just close out the tab and reopen it. 
And that's gonna do it for this video. I hope that was helpful. I just wanted to go over this again because I previously made a video on the channel that I wish I could have explained things a little bit better. So now that we have Starfield and the creation system, except for Fallout 4, I was thinking it was time to refresh the video. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.